Excel is like a video game with hidden cheat codes. Once you know them, you can fly through your spreadsheets and research data while everyone else is still clicking everywhere. Click, 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 click. Most people think Excel mastery means endless formulas, formulas, and more formulas and macros, whatever they are, but that is completely wrong. With just a few shortcuts and secret key combos, you'll be an Excel whiz kid, and today I'll show you the best ones I used for academia and research so you'll never use Excel the same way again. Some actually feel like magic. So the first thing you need is data. If you head over to Excel and you copy and paste in some data, it never is the way you want it. So the first thing you need to know about are all the shortcuts for navigating and selecting. So here, if I wanted to go up here and then let's just click up and down. And you can see I can go one cell at a time. That's a bit rubbish, isn't it? But if I click control and down, I go all the way to the bottom of my data. If I click control and right, I go to the right hand side. And if I click control and up, I go to the top bit of my data. And you can see that's a really easy way of navigating around big data sets. Now it gets even better than that because if I hold control shift and then I click right, you can see I've selected the top. Then I can click control shift and down and I've selected all of my data. So control shift and the arrow keys will allow you to select all of the data in a row or all of the data in a column. Oh, I don't know what I did there. <laughs> all of the row, control shift down, all in a column. It even works up here. So one thing I like to do when I've got data initially in there is I like to select all of the rows with data in it. So instead of clicking in the cell, I click up here in the A box and then I click control shift and across and you can see I've selected all of those columns, then I double click. Ah, I can now see all of my data. Absolutely love that. Also, what about this header? I can go control shift and right and then go up here to formatting, click header. There we are. Love it, love it, love it. So control shift navigating. I absolutely do that all the time when I'm first in my data. And check out this next one because it is tasty. All right, so once I got the data the way I want it, you can see here that you know navigating around is easy, clicky, 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 but what if I wanna select a whole row or a whole column? Well, that's super easy. All I have to do is click Shift and Spacebar and I get that entire row. Oh, that's easy. And also, if I click in the column I want and I click Control Spacebar, ah, easy peasy. Love it, love it, love it. So once we know that little sneaky trick, then we can select a whole whole row, for example. Let's go shift and spacebar. Look, I've selected that. And then I click control shift and plus, control shift plus, and then I get an extra row. Love it. Control shift plus another one. And I can do that if I wanted a column, uh, control spacebar, collect, select the column, and then control shift plus, and then I add a column. And I can undo all of this, control Z, control Z, control Z. Or if I put something and let's do shift and uh, select and then control shift plus. I can also click control minus and that gets rid of a row. Same thing works for columns. Ah, absolutely love that. So easy peasy, navigating, adding columns and the stuff I'm about to show you feels like magic. So I've got some data, here it is. Here's a quick simple one. Or if I want extra things up here and I don't wanna go through the rigmarole of like copy and pasting and formatting, all I have to do is click control R and you can see it adds another column for me. Absolutely love that. And I can go on and add more control R. And if I wanted data underneath, all I have to do is go control D. Ah, and there we are, it copies what's above it and it even formats it in the same way. So absolutely love that. And that is a really simple way of just adding extra things without having to go through all of the clicking and uh, formatting that is so annoying when you're dealing with tables. Another little sneaky trick is when you've got all of these sorts of data with stuff in and you need to sort of like write the same thing over and over again, once you've got all of the things in there and let's say you just wanted to add another little thing down here, all you have to do is click Alt and down and then you get a little drop down of all of the things you've written above. So here I want sofa bed, let's have a look here, Alt and down and look, it's a queen, love it. So it just saves you from writing, here's another one, down, let's just say it's in Las Vegas. It just saves you from typing the same stuff over and over again if you've already written it in the columns above, yes. This little thing I used all of the time. So if you look here, we've got some scores from some uh, horrible <laughs> exams um, and the grade is out of 105. So normally if I wanted a fraction, I could go equals this divided by this 
equals great. Now, the problem is if I try to drag and drop this down, oh, what? What's happened? It's because it's referencing this cell. As you drag and drop, it does all of these. What if I wanted this cell to remain the same? It's really easy. This has saved me hours, I swear, without having to type stuff. So normally, when you do this, you have to push equals and then the, the column. And then if you wanted to always reference this one, you could type in the dollar sign, but there's a really easy way to do it. Click F4. There we go. The dollar sign means that B14 will always be referenced. If you wanted to keep it in a row or you wanted to keep it in a column, keep pushing F4 and you can see B would change, but row uh, 14 would stay the same. And then if you click it again, you get B that stays the same and 14 would change. So that's a really simple way of just staying with the same thing. And you can see now I can drag and drop this down. Ah and it stays the same. Nice. Another thing I always do is create a graph really easily. All you have to do, if you've got some data, hover over it, push F11, and then you end up with a graph. <laughs> there we are. It's never been so easy to create a graph. Now, is this the graph that I want? No, not quite. But if I uh, left click or right, no, if I right click in there, I can change the data. So obviously I don't want weeks. So I'll get rid of week, remove that one, click OK. There we are. There's some nice data. And it's just really easy to start with all the data in a nice chart. Love that. Good. One click. Graphs. Yes. Check out this one. You've got loads of data, right? Look at all of the stuff. Oh no, the problem is when I scroll down here, what does this mean? What does this number mean? That's the date. What does this mean? There's two cities here. Oh my God, I don't know which one it means. So sticky header is one of my favorite things. And all you have to do is Alt W F R. And then you end up with a nice sticky um, sort of header and you can scroll up and down. Love it, love it, love it. And uh, if you want to unfreeze the panes, you can just go up here and click unfreeze panes and then you'll be back to where you were. You can get to here with clicking view, freeze panes, just select the top one. Obviously, if we can use our shortcut of shift and uh, space bar and then we go freeze panes and then uh, there we are. Oh, no. <laughs> Freeze top row. There we are. It's in there. That's exactly what we need to do. Love it, love it, love it. And it's all super easy. Um, yeah. Alt W F R. Alt W F R. Get that into your brain. Another shortcut I would use all the time is if I'm working with formulas, but I want the values. So here, the average column here, you can see is a simple um, uh, equation. But if I click copy and paste, you can see, oh no, what's that? It's because it's copying the equation. The one thing I always used to do would be control shift V. Ah, there's the value. Used it all the time. Saved me hours and hours of uh, frustration, I think. All right then, so this is the one that feels like magic. Check this out. So if I've got some stuff here, look, I've got my lab and they're in these labs, blah, 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 but I need their first name and last name separated. So if I give an example of what I want, so if I want Alice in here, oh, that's not how you spell it. Come on, Stapes, you can do better than that. And then I go down and then I click Control E, it will actually understand what I've just done and it will put all of the names in this first row. And I can do the same here. I can go Johnston and then click down here, Control uh, E, there we are, Smith, Nugent, Lee, it's brilliant. Love it. Saved me hours of trying to separate text into different columns. Yes. Adding stuff up is the number one thing I tend to do in Excel. If I've got a column like this and I'm going to add everything up, all I have to do is click Alt and then equals and it will give me the summation of all of those columns. Yes, yes, yes. Alt equals. Love it. You don't have to go up here and find sum and find equals. Alt equals and it's done for you. Yes, super easy shortcut, but used it all the blooming time. Another shortcut I used all of the time is if I've got data like this, I've copied and pasted it in, but look, this has got one decimal point, this has got zero, also significant figures is a problem. So overall, this is just not formatted how I want it. So all I have to do is push control one, and then I get the format cells. It's really easy. Um, and then I get all of the stuff that I want. So here I want one decimal place, bonk, Easy peasy lemon squeezy. And obviously you've got all the other features in there as well. Control one, used it all the bloody time. 
Let's say I want to do the same thing over and over again. So here I want this number in a certain format. So let's go to home and let's just say I want that as good. You see it's formatted, but instead of going up here and clicking, I just want to stay down here. It's really easy. It's our favorite key, the F4 again. So if I click here and click F4, you can see it does the same thing over and over again. It just repeats that action. If I want bad, then I go here and it gives me the bad. So it's a really easy way of formatting all the different areas simply with F4. Easy peasy. It repeats what you did last time. That's what it does. Good. When you've got a load of data, it's really annoying to have to kind of filter stuff. You can do that anyway. So one thing I really like to do is let's just click anywhere in here. And I want to go down to filter. So filter and then filter by cells value. You then get a nice filter thing and you click up here and you can see you can filter by all of the stuff that was in that column. So I don't want cell culture. I actually want protein assay. So there we are. You can also add multiple ones by just putting the check in that box. And also you can also expand it to all of of these, I said also twice then, you can also expand it to all of these ones, easy peasy lemon squeezy, let's just say I want to sort it by 50, ah there we are, there was one sample collected with 50, done. So it's really easy, all you have to do is go up here, go to filter, and then filter by selected cells color, lovely, and if you want to get rid of it, all you have to do is clear filter from variable tested, and uh, clear filter from variable tested, there we are, we're back to what it was before, yes. The last thing I want to show you is really cool because it can take something like this and turn it into a table. So all I have to do is click Control T and it will create a table. You can see it selected everything. Yes, I want to create a table. And now you can see it's added the filter stuff in for me automatically. But there is something in here that really, really is awesome. And that's slicer. So insert a slicer and you can see then we can slice by all sorts of ways. Um, let's say I want it by city and we can go here and then we get this little box. And look, all you have to do is click, 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 click. You can add multiple ones and it's just a really nice way of navigating your data. You're creating your own little sort of like clickable app in Excel. Really great if you just want to filter a load of data and uh, you want this little button along the side. You can get rid of everything by clicking there. Ah, love it. Those are some of the most awesome things I did throughout my PhD and now you can save a more time than I did. Love it. I'm always using the Office Suite, so if you want to make a poster in PowerPoint, check out this video because it's going to be awesome for you. Check it out.